I'm David Albert from the Columbia College of Dental Medicine. I'm here at the American uh, Psychological Science Convention in Washington, D.C. to present a poster on a project that we're doing with NIDCR funding. It's also received a Building Bridges Award from NIDCR. It also has funding from Aetna Dental. What we're doing with this project is developing a computerized decision support system to be used in dental offices that features the five A's that were developed by the U.S. Public Health Service in 2000. And the five A's consist of ask, advise, assess, assist, and arrange. And problems that we've had in, in past projects is the sustainability of such a project. You cannot sustain it in the typical dental office because the amount of time that it involves is, is excessive. So we want to see if we can use technology to bridge that and allow dental offices to bring in the five A's and to ask, advise, assess, assist, and arrange, and actually talk to do more assisting behaviors, such as referral to a quit line, uh, such as writing pharmacotherapeutic prescriptions, and giving materials to patients. Um, so this computerized decision support system, we were developing it and creating it in this R34 with NIDCR, but in this project, we wanted to tailor it so that it was specifically uh, useful to dentists in their offices. So we're using the technology acceptance model and here we have perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. And we developed two focus groups with dentists and dental hygienists to evaluate the pilot that we developed. And we, in these focus groups, took a look at items that were part of the technology acceptance model, such as image, subjective norms, and we got tremendous feedback from the clinicians who came to us. They gave us barriers and facilitators. We discovered that the technology acceptance model, which I'll call TAM, TAM was a, a good model for developing the uh, decision support system, but there were other factors that were important as well that were not part of TAM. And those are environmental factors, such as do dentists get reimbursed for doing tobacco cessation, which is very, very important to the dentists. And in the focus groups, they expressed an interest in having more um, input in terms of reimbursement. They also were concerned about the environment around them, uh, the use of more smokeless to tobacco products like snus and whether they knew exactly what was going on in their community with those products being marketed. And the TAM model doesn't take into account those external environmental factors. Uh, we developed the project and we've actually created the iPad interface and are now piloting it in dental offices and we will be uh, eventually applying for a UL1 grant with NIH to evaluate whether this model is useful in dental offices.